I vlog, this is super weird for two reasons. One, I'm the one filming the industry. Two, we're consuming beverages, which is very rare, but this is a big, big Vegas thing. We never have downtime. <laughs> we're 15 minutes early for my Vayner sports meeting. And I'm like, Dustin, let me buy you a drink. He was all freaked out. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> But he didn't hesitate. He's got that vodka hit in the system. He got a couple bubbles, bougie style. All right, let's keep this episode going. I'm doing press until 8 p.m. I think. Radio Row, Pat McAfee, like lots of stuff. We'll go through the commercials. Yep. We're doing commercials first. Yep. We'll set you up as you know. You kind of know a little bit about yep. media and, yep. and this thing, and they're really important this year. Yep. Is there anything that like you'd love for me to ask? Or... Honestly, you know your audience so well. Like whatever is good for them is good for me. Okay. I'm seeing ads are going for seven million dollars. Yes. Is that worth it? I think it's the biggest deal in marketing. I am known in the marketing land as the social media guy, as the digital guy. As a matter of fact, I spend a lot of time telling people I think most commercials are overpriced. Here's the difference. Everybody of the 200 million people that are going to watch want to watch the commercials in the Super Bowl during real life. They don't. It's a value at seven million. I know that sounds crazy, America. It's a value at seven million. Having it on CBS, we are thrilled. <laughs> We're thrilled. We'll be back in a little bit later in the newscast. Fabulous. We're so good. Fabulous, You're of course. You're so good. Yep. All right, where are we going? Gym room. We're going to yep. gym room. Is this the way to go? He's on a big set. That's great. That first segment was probably my best TV performance of all time, because if I tell you what was going on in our ears. We have mix minus, FYI. Great job with that. Thank you. What happened? What Their feedback say? was of us delayed, so I could barely hear her. Oh no. That close to her. Is this airing on CBS Sports, doc, CBS Sports Channel? Yes, Paramount Plus. And they're doing also the and they're doing it on social. And social. Right here, here, here. What am I on? 920. Oh, we got plenty of time. Yeah. Okay. I would love a coffee then. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going on a Jim Rome show right now, so I'll be back off after my 10 minute hit. All right. Bye. My brother! How you doing, dude? Great to Good see you. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? I'm well. This is remarkable for the sport, and for all the people that are crying about it, you're in control of your consumption. Oh, you know what? You got into show mode. I did, you're right. Just did Jim Rome. When I do sports radio, I become a sports radio guy. Steelers have tons of bandwagon fans because they win all the time. Right. Steeler fans piss me off, Jim. Dude, how about bandwagon fans? Do they piss you off too? I, I, just Especially kidding, I know. Steeler bandwagon <laughs> fans. I want to apologize to the Steeler fans. Not really, but I got hot. Coming to big events like this, it's not parties. It's business development, networking. Why is it important to come to mega events? What are some of the things you look for from a business standpoint? Time efficiency. So I'm gonna have seven to 12 meetings here that would have taken me two different flights, 10 hours to accomplish that will happen in four hours. So just pure meeting time efficiency. Then serendipity. There will be four to seven relationships I make at this Super Bowl that were people I talked yeah. to on digital but we never connected. Random people that we get 30 minutes randomly over a glass of wine and even parties. You know, as you know, because yeah. you know me, I don't love them, yeah. but I'll go with the to purpose connect. on the two things that I just mentioned. So, you know, I think it's about efficiency and serendipity. Does I want to clip that question about why to go to mega events? I like the serendipity and efficiency. I want to title it, why go to big events? Or if that's not best practices, it could be how to be efficient and create serendipity. Like, we, got, we can play with it a little bit. Okay, where are we? They're gonna take us to a room upstairs. They're still... I think. Glad we made it. So happy to be here. So happy to be with all of you. Such a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming. So, man, nice such a pleasure. You. You've been here since when? Uh, so yeah, Sunday. So you've been hitting it. Yeah. yeah, really. Every day has been like 14 hour days. There was enough people through Monday and Tuesday, and you just loaded it up. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It's you got like six months worth of content in like a week. Yeah, yeah. 11 to 13 podcasts just this week. I'm once pumped. And we only release once a week. This is the reason to go to things like this. It seems like we're rolling, right? Yeah. Good to go. Nice. I'm so glad we did this. Thank you. Dude, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Honor, man. Pleasure. This was amazing. Thank Seriously. you, brother. Love you guys. Bye. As far as posting content, do you think it's better to not post at all or post something that's not valuable? You should post something that poses a question that might lead to an insight of what you should be posting. Here's a great post that a lot of people who are stuck should be posting. 
hey, what would you like to see me post? Mm. What do you want from me? That's a great post when you're stuck. I guess going to Radio Row right now, doing a bunch of radio and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, Fanatics Live show. Check out my Twitter. I'm sharing all the info there. Fanatics Live, doing a bunch of giveaways, doing a bunch of free stuff. It's gonna be fun. Come and check us out in a couple hours. Check out my Twitter for all the information. Love you guys. Thank Just you, listen, my dude. listen to you for years. Thank That's you. fucking dope, man. Thank you. Man. When you when you share those stories, like people gotta make it at thirty. I yeah. was like, bro, that was me. That was me. pleasure. Man. Okay, so what's happening first? We're gonna go do a couple of things. We're gonna we move things around so yep. we can you know, maximize. Yep. Yeah. Gary just want to say in 2020, I read your book, Crush It, started a podcast with my phone, and I'm here because of you. Proud Thank of you, you brother. You're you. welcome. You. Proud of you. We're going to go see Matthew Berry. Wonderful. Great. We're changing. We're going to overtime. Okay. We have wow. a surprise guest. Oh, Uh-oh. shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary V. No That's way! Cool. Yeah! No, I we ran back up. We ran up on stage and gave out to everybody. Ooh, thank you. Oh, yes. baby. Nice. Oh, is this? <laughs> nice. I'm ambitious. Love I don't care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we fucking yeah. go, boys. Go. Hey, thank thank you, Gary. Gary. Here I'm we go, go boys. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Good. Maggie. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Thank you for doing this. What's that? They're all wearing your hats. No way. Sir. They're like literally on the show wearing your hats. Major. So good. We're doing Covino and Rich now. I always say that I wish I was in someone's algorithm the way like you're in my algorithm, uh, Andy Santino and Bobby Lee are in my yeah. algorithm. I see the same people. What's happening yeah. is you're showing to the platform that this is the type of content you like. Yeah. One thing I tell people all the time, you don't like your algorithm? You're the algorithm. You're the algorithm. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. You don't like it? Mute it. A lot of people use fear and negativity to make you watch. If you feel like that's happening to you, mute it. On the flip side, if you see something you like, like it. Tell the algorithm what you want. That's the way to do it. Taylor, Taylor, Swift, the Taylor Swift effect, real quick. Is it is great it, for the sport? Yeah. Do you know how many twelve-year-old girls now love football that will be moms in twenty years? Yep. This is massive impact on the NFL. All right, how are we doing? Good. Good. Where you got me? Right here. Right here. You've helped my son and my my husband's relationship get so good, and my That's son, a, that yeah. That made my day. I'm predicting that this will land on number five. Black two. What's up? I just want to say what's up. I play for the Cardinal, uh, brother. Brother receiver. It's great to I see you, I just want to say what's up. Thank you, my dear. Uh, and, and connect with you. Anytime. Yeah. Hit me with a DM. I'll hit you tonight. Okay. All right. All right? Yeah. It's a real good. pleasure, bro. Sorry Keep about your jets, though. Bro, I'm <laughs> trying. It's tough out there. You know how it is. You need like 30 minutes to get to Stephen A. So let's go. Let's go. Is that where we're running to? Yep. Yes, that's Okay, fine. but you'll get me the link to promote to? Yes. Okay. Give us a minute. We'll send it to you. Okay. okay. Can I get a picture? Yeah. Of course, of course. All right, everybody. It's a row. I'm not lying. Oh, bro, you, you, you balled out like crazy. I'm so proud of you, bro. Okay, bro. Siege, nice you, bro. you really balled it out, bro. Thanks, Keep building. Running into homies like CJ Stroud, but really excited for this show. Obviously, Stephen A's been a sports media icon for a long time, and he's a Knicks fan, and we're happy. Am I going in? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. Thank you. We're going back to the old school, Dustin. Now you're really worthy of like, are you D-Rock? This feels like that kind of day. D-Rock, big shout out, keep building out there. Stephen A, the media icon. We're about to go on there right now. I'm gonna spit some serious sports knowledge because that's what I do. Uh, that's what I could be doing. It's all entrepreneurial stuff. Could have easily been sports talk radio. So it's been a great day. Obviously what you probably just watched was Radio Row, tons of interviews. You know, some of the distribution on those are smaller like not that many listeners, but we're getting the content and we're post-producing and you never know when you're gonna get a nugget. Gary V, everyone. What's up, my man? So good to see you. Hi. Five, four, three, two, one. Riddle me this. Why the hell do you wanna own the New York Jets? (laughs) 
What is that about? Why does why would a winner such as yourself associate yourself You're gonna love and answer. your fandom, your love, your emotions, yeah. and everything else in between with the New York Jets? The most guaranteed way that I know I'm going to get a Super Bowl is for me to do it. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm in my zone. Yeah. Like, I know I'm trying to get there. I also know there's a lot of serendipity that goes into it. Mm -hmm. I'm not in full control. The Johnsons may want to sell next year and it's over. So I need a lot of things that I don't control to happen to go my way. Mm -hmm. I'm just focused on building an empire to give me a shot. How'd you like that trade? I'm Knicks. so happy. Knicks. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Restaurants all the way at the end over yes. here. All right, vlog, this is super weird for two reasons. One, I'm the one filming the industry. Two, we're consuming beverages, which is very rare, but this is a big Vegas thing. We never have downtime. We're 15 minutes early for my Vayner sports meeting. And I'm like, Dustin, let me buy you a drink. He was all freaked out. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> but he didn't hesitate. He's got that vodka hit in the system. He got a couple of bubbles, bougie style. All right, let's keep this episode going. Yeah. Why didn't you drop us off at Lids? Uh, they wanted to go around. There's a Got different it. I'm sorry. Security. I'm good. Security for you. Dustin? Yeah. 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 Good. 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 I did Pat McAfee show. That was a lot of fun. We got them a bunch of the new V Friends hats that I know people want. It's been a good day, but this has been the highlight. This is what I've been waiting for. So I'm allowed to give away these very Seven, expensive six, cards? Yeah, so but, but, but I want you to know, when someone wins a giveaway, they cannot enter again. I get it. So but like they might this Randy hold. Moss rookie card that's worth a lot of money, I could just throw that into the crowd oh. and somebody could get it, right? There it is! Oh. There it is! I think we're ready. One minute, fire it up. Two Super Bowl tickets next year. Followers only, we're launching it. The biggest moment in Fanatic's Live history. Good luck, history. everybody. The biggest uh, moment in V Friends history. Ice! Are you fucking ice. kidding me? Ice! Shout out ice! Shout out ice! Shout out ice! Ice! Shout out ice! This is insane. Chat, I have to go run. The boys will finish off the show. Bye bye. Bye, Phoenix. Bye, Phoenix. That's fine. Good show. Super Bowl tickets. And, 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 you said hotel. tickets and something too. No, it's a hotel, hotel and spending money. No, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> and and, 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 and yeah, a limo driver. Limo driver. And a bodyguard. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. Stay well. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I'm cool. Thank you so much. Stay Thank well. You Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>
Thank you, brother. Oh, that was everything I ever needed. God, I wanted that. What time is it? It's 8.35. You can head out. Oh, amazing. You did great out there. I tried. Yeah. I knew some of those answers. Yeah, you did. Uh, you gotta return that. I do? I think so. I mean, who names that on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for you. I'm for you. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. Have the best weekend. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You got it. Bobby's ready? Yeah, Bobby's ready. That was good. Great day. Great day. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow, 5 30. Bye. 5 30. In, in the lobby? In the lobby with this, and we'll go to Boomer and Geo. Jesus. Heard fresh off my championship win in the fucking quiz tournament, defeating Josh Allen. All right, Jeff Bams, I've been waiting for this for my whole life. I need with Josh Allen. Trivia. I'm headed to a private dinner for Siegelman Stables, that hat you see me wearing all the time. Today was a day. Awesome. Good for you. Love you. Love you too. See you tomorrow.